hi guys welcome to another interesting tutorial i'm yinky and in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to make this v color dress and this is kind of is a kind of a kimono dress where the ashe ok will be shredded at the m and i'll be showing you how to shred the ashe ok so this ashe ok is just the normal ashe ok that we use for our guillotine and um, you can see there are green lines the horizontal green lines and the vertical green lines so i'm going to shred by removing the horizontal green lines so i'll look for the thread and i'll just remove it one after the other till i get to the extreme end and that is how i'm going to just be removing it till i get the length that i needed for the shredded uh, part so it's not very it's not difficult to shred it at all just remove the horizontal thread and you get the result that you needed so and that is what i have done here and after you have done that the thread that you remove that's the horizontal thread you're going to lock it up by tying it the way i'm doing right away so just tie it so that it will not lose up again and another thing you can do is after you have tied it up you can tie it like twice so that the knot will be very big so after you have done that you cut the knot and um, you can use your zigzag machine zigzag stitch you can use it on it so that you lock it up totally so that it will not um, lose up so the first thing i will do here is after i have stitched up the uh, part that i lose just to show you how i shred it i'll go to my uh, zigzag stitch zigzag sewing machine and i'm going to use that um, zigzag for to lock it totally so that it will not keep on shredding so the shredded part will give it the, that effect that you that you've been seeing on all this trendy kimono dress so i'll just use my zigzag stitch and after setting it to the zigzag stitch i'll just use it and lock it up this way zigzag stitch will lock it up totally you can still use a straight stitch if you don't have a zigzag um, sewing machine so after i have done that this is how it will look the zigzag stitch will just be i'll just run it through it using a matching thread so after i have done that the next thing is how to cut so the neckline will be in such a way that the back neckline will fall to the front it will be like you are cutting the um neckline for main um, clothes so that you're going to make sure that the th the back is increased by three inches more than the front and that is what i have done measure three inches to increase the back more than the front and use the normal neckline the depth is one inch at the back and the width is four inches and that is what i have done so the the depth at the front the width at the front is also four inches by depth six inches so i'm going to cut the front and neck separate back neck separately and that is what i have done so here the width that i will take here is just one and a half inch because i will measure two inches for my collar width so so that when i put it it will be one and a half inch for the collar width so that is what i have done here to cut the v neckline so after i have measured you can see that this back neckline is falling towards the front neckline it is the, you measure the back neckline that it will be more three inches more than the front neckline and i'm going to place my ash okay this way so this ash okay as the normal length that it comes with i just join two together then i the the width the height i mean the length of it is just seven inches and i join two together so it has its normal you should know how it comes it comes in like six, six inches width so here I'm trimming the down the hemline of the dress because since the back is longer, it will not be it will, it won't be accurate again at the downside. It won't be the same length again. So I'm trying to trim it to the same length at the downside, and this is how it will be at the front when I have joined the shoulder to shoulder together. After joining the the shoulder to shoulder together, what you will do is to take your measurement and I have nine and a half inches here. Then I will use that measurement to cut the collar. So this collar will be more than that nine and a half. I can put 11 inches. It's better to have more allowance than not to have enough allowance at all. So after I have cut it, I told you that the width of the collar is one and a half inch. So I cut two inches for the width of the collar. And you can see the length that I've measured, nine and a half on foot. And I cut more. So this part 
I'm trying to join the shredder part. So I will just stitch by folding it up. I will just stitch very close to the tip of the M line. I will just close it, stitch it very close to the tip, just like so. Just stitch on a straight line. So you can freestyle. You can freestyle. I'm trying to freestyle here. You can use any design you want. You can make it the the, the straight line design or you can just make this type of design i'm making the, there is no standard way to do it just freestyle make sure that something you do is you are creative about whatever you do so i'll just top stitch this and after i have top stitched the major thing is make sure you iron it and pin it well so that there won't be folds Pin it well so that they won't, they won't be full. So on this part, you can still top stitch this part or you leave it like that. Whichever way is okay. So here, I, I'm trying to put my collar. So the collar will start from the notch. Then I'll go by fixing it on half of an inch. So using my straight stitch, I'll fix it on half of an inch like so. Just go ahead and put your collar like so. And when I get to the extreme edge, I will stop. Then I will notch. I will notch this part so that by the by the time I want to turn the collar inside, it will be easy for me. So I will notch it on both sides so that this collar will turn inward. So so that they will they will lay on each other. So after they have laid it on each other like so, I will now turn to the wrong side in order to be able to stitch the allowance. So I will turn to the wrong side and stitch the allowance. So here you can go ahead and press it nicely so that you will have a nice finishing. So after I've done that, the next thing is to turn to the wrong side and stitch it up with the way I'm doing it. Just bring out the sewing allowance with the Ankara fabric and also with the collar. Stitch it on a straight line like so. Stitch it very carefully and turn to the right side. And we are almost done with the tutorial. We are almost done with the neckline. The purpose of this tutorial is just to show you how to make this type of neckline. How to make a shredded Ashoke V neckline. And this is a type of collar neckline. So you can see how beautiful it is. We have come to the end of the tutorial. And if you have gained anything in this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Like and also share this tutorial. Leave your comment in the comment section. And I'm going to attend to it as soon as I see it. Bye.